Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is a new day here in Dublin. It is. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of plants today. We do. It's supposed to be raining on and off today. Yeah, we got our umbrellas here. But we're staying very local and doing a lot of touristy stuff. That's right. Hi, baby. We're, we're yeah. tourists, that's why. We're, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to start out with breakfast. We're right across the street near our hotel. Yep. And uh, we'll try to get some authentic Irish breakfast. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. And it comes with a, uh, it includes a cup of Americano coffee. Yeah. So it's a great deal. And they have a lot of other items too. But, uh, we gotta go for the Irish breakfast. The typical Irish breakfast, at least in their eyes, this is a typical Irish breakfast. We're not really sure, but it all looks good. This is their bacon sausage. They call it a flat mushroom and a tomato. Beans, sourdough bread, hash brown, and a black and white pudding. Oh, and a fried egg. That looks good. Yeah, black and white pudding, right? Yeah, black and white pudding. Yeah, very spot. Dig on it, and this Americana that comes with the breakfast, it is delicious. It is. Mm -hmm. And we got the same thing. Yeah, we did. So here we go. Give some of these items a try. And our sausage. Our egg. I already put some a uh, little bit of salt and pepper on it. Of course, we have our Irish butter. Here we go. It's a good sausage. That's a good sausage. It's very mild, like pork. Toast, you try some of these beans. Mm. These beans are very good. It's a lot better than uh, bandy camps. I like these. This is the black and white pudding. So I'm going to try this one first. Mm. Mm. It tastes meaty. It tastes kind of like a sausage. Oh, really? Wow. Here's their hash brown. I'm going to try their bacon. Their bacon reminds me of ham. Even when we got it at the break in ham, it reminds me a lot of ham. Mm. Not as salty as ham. Good. Slabs of bacon. This is not the cut type of bacon we are used to in um, in America, but if America had these type of bacon in USA, I get it all the time. This is delicious, not as salty, not as fatty. I bet you those would be really good, like a ham and cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm. right? um, this is the black pudding. Mm. These are delicious. I know there's no meat in it but they taste very meaty. Uh, which one do you like better, black or the white? They're both really good. It's hard to pick. That was a good breakfast. It was excellent. It's cool. like so much protein, it right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, it was very good. Now we're gonna head back to the hotel and I think we might catch a ride share. Yeah. And then go on our next adventure. We will. We have made it to the Mecca of Guinness beer. I am so excited. We are here at the brewery. We are. It, it's huge, you know, we took the a Uber here, which just happens to be a taxi. Yeah. Um, and we're driving around this entire block and it's all Guinness property. Mm -hmm. It is humongous here. It is. I'm so ready, baby. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like Budweiser when we went to the uh, St. Louis tour. Right. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. huge, yeah. huge facility. This is big, maybe even bigger. Could be. Uh, this is cool. Uh, let's, let's go. Let's go see. Let's go. Yeah. Cost is 22 euros per person. Right. I think they have different level tours, but this is the basic one. It is. And it includes a free drink, uh, redeemable at that gravity bar, which is the very top. Right. So it's the tour and the gravity bar only, and it's a self-guided tour. So you go yeah. ahead, 
and walk at your own pace. Yes. So we are inside, so we're going to check it out now. Yeah. And we just came up. We didn't have to buy it in advance. We just came up to the store and we bought it. Then they have a line where you just can buy it immediately. Yeah, there was only like two people in the front, so it was very quick. And it was during the week, so yes. maybe that's why. Maybe. Only in Dublin, right? Only in Dublin. Yeah, they have all these stories. This is the advertising section, and they have all of these different stories about all of the animals and everything they use for advertising. So this is one of them, the Whistling Oyster. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the Guinness Heart, babe. Here we go. Give us a demo. This was really cool. Yeah, six euros per pint. This is really cool. Yes, we just got yeah. one because we're gonna get another Guinness upstairs. Yes, we are. And you know, this is what you have to do when you're here at the storehouse because where else can you do it? Uh, you? I can't think of yeah. any other. We're over a really bright light, so yes. sorry, sorry for the shout. It's okay, babe. You take the first drink, baby. We're gonna ruin our picture now. That's okay. But here we go. It is good. Oh yeah. And the That's picture's good. still intact somewhat. Oh yeah, look at that. Right? That's nice. really cool. which is a 360 degree view of the city plus your ticket gives you a pint of beer anything that they make up here so it's the zero it's the uh, I think they have a pale ale they have a IPA and they even have soft drinks because there's kids up here too so kids can come to this tour and it includes the soft drinks and even water we ran into a couple fans yeah, this is from Terry and Donna yes. they're from Canada, Canada. And, they, and they're visiting the island with us. Who knew, right? Who knew, right? And we love their food. Oh, appreciate it very much. Oh, pros, guys. Yeah. Slanche. Slanche. I was in the wrong country. It's been very good meeting you, and I'll keep on watching. And you know what? I don't subscribe normally, but now I'm going to subscribe. Oh, appreciate it. There we go. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Can I just say pros? Yeah, you said pros. You're uh, in the I, wrong country. I was maybe. thinking good old Germany. Yeah, yeah. So how is how is that zero alcohol uh, Guinness? This one kind of tastes like what we get in the states. It's a little bit more strong and a little bit more bitter, roasted flavor, and this is zero. So this is if you are wondering what it tastes like. Taste the Guinness in the states, and this is exactly what the zero tastes like. Good. So. Basically, it's not bad then. It's not bad. It's a little more bitter than the ones that you get here. Little wrap up now. We're all done. That's all done. It was really warm in there, but now it's starting to sprinkle. It is. A little bit of rain now. Yeah. I have to take some cover. You brush out my umbrella. Yeah, we will.
about a mile walk from Guinness, we arrived. Jameson's. Distillery. So you have to do it. This was on his bucket list. It is the Guinness and now Jameson's. Yes, Irish whiskey. Yeah. Let's go get some samples, I hope. And we're not whiskey people, so we'll see how this goes. So we just walked up and got our tickets. These are 25 euro each. This gives you a guided tour, which we meet at 2.15, and it, it gives you also one free drink at the bar. It gives you the uh, Jameson meat, Jameson on the rocks, or Jameson with ginger and lime. So ginger ale and lime. I think we're going to try the ginger ale and lime. Yeah, we're going to do one and then yeah. do one afterwards. Yeah. Here it is, a ginger ale and lime. Yeah, try it out, babe. I like it. It's not very strong. It has a good taste of uh, whiskey. I can drink it this way. Right? Oh yeah, good job. And not sweet at all. But you can taste that Jameson flavor. Mm -hmm. A little hint of sweetness because of that ginger ale. Right. And it should squeeze a lot in there. It's, it's much different than taking a shot like it we is. used to. It is. That's the one where it snaps us off a bit more. Yeah. So good thing it's mixed. Original. That's the one in the middle. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, yeah. I just made the first one more good. So our empty barrels out in the courtyard, and they okay. were um, they were then through the effects of Irish weather. So rain, hail, snow. This would damage the barrel before filling, and it, we would lose all. one, two, three. Oh, After you do your tour, you can sign up to get an email of your certificate here, and this one comes pretty much right away in your email. Has you. mm -hmm, has on this date my name. I achieved envied status. <laughs> Official Jameson brand ambassador. That's hilarious. This is pretty cool. Right across the street from Jameson is this uh, like a cafeteria and a restaurant. So it's, you just kind of pick what you want as you saw. And we came at the end of service, so yeah, it wasn't okay. a lot left, but it's all good. Yeah, a little bit past lunch, about 3.30 p.m. So I got like the pork, mashed potatoes and some carrots. Looks really good. Let's try this out. It's like a, in some kind of a pork gravy. Mm, I like a pork loin. Very tender. I didn't need that knife. It has some kind of a maybe like a wine reduction type of gravy on it. Yeah. Great potatoes. Carrots. It's a good way to soak up the uh, whiskey over there. Good lunch. I got the duck home I got the last one with all oh, the cabbage there. Let's try this duck. Uh, last time you got that was in Paris, right? It was right? in Paris, yeah. and it was excellent. Mm -hmm. This stuff is very moist. This, mm, this cabbage on top is a little bit on the sweet side, which tastes so good with the fattiness and the richness of this duck. Well, this duck I, now, is now you know excellent. why. Now you know why it was the last one. Yeah. Mm, this duck is excellent. Um, I got a pasta salad. I ran out um, of mash, so she asked. If she offered me a salad. Pasta salad is cold. Good salad. Um, some of those carrots. I love the carrots. The carrots are very sweet. Mm. Carrots and peas. Excellent with this duck, which is delicious. And it's right down the street from Jameson. We were hungry. Soak up a little bit of the booze. I love it. Back in here when you come in. It's a cafeteria style. 
Just go to the counter. They have the hot food on one side, all the coffee and, and pastries on the other side. Order and you get the register. Very easy. Find a seat. Very easy. It's raining right now, so we're out of the rain. It's perfect. Yes, perfect. We made it to the Leprechaun Museum. But it's closed. It's not even open. Oh. Oh, what, wow. a let, oh. what a letdown. What a letdown. But we'll give you a, a shot of the sign. Yeah. Uh, I heard there's a Disney store over here, I'm too. Maybe. Let's go see if we can find it. Hopefully uh, it's open, babe. I hope it's not closed like, like the Leprechaun Museum. Yeah. Let's go. We found it. We found it. Let's go shopping. Hopefully they still have something Irish in there. Oh, well, it's open, so let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Can we close it off? Okay. <laughs> that wraps up today's uh, Dublin vlog. That was a lot of fun. We yes. did a lot of walking today. We did. I got two two of my things that I wanted to do today, which was the Guinness tour and the uh, the Jameson. Mm -hmm. And we're busy tomorrow too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Doing a little day trip. We're actually leaving the city. We are just for a day. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, we have a uh, the, the shout out. Yes, uh, thank you, Terry, again, and yes. uh, Donna for saying hi to us while we were in the uh, uh, where were you? We Guinness. Guinness. Thank you in the Guinness tour. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> okay, well, uh, until our next adventure, which is going to be yes. a big one tomorrow. It will be. We'll catch you guys in the next one.